the winter was great, really. I mean, we had, through December, some really beautiful, gentle rain, exactly the type of rain we would like into a, a new site that's getting established. And then as we entered into January in 2024, we began to see a series of atmospheric rivers, very heavy rain coming in pretty rapid succession. So it was a real test for the site. It was definitely a good test. This winter um, was a great test for um, some of our concepts in stage zero. We know stage zero works quite well in alluvial valleys with lots of sediment moving in. Here we have a grass uh, meadow with not a lot of sediment coming down from the upper hills. So we decided to put waddles in uh, about every 25 feet. So we'd have a whole series of flooded cells. Every time it would rain, we'd have these kind of big puddles. That proved to be really a great idea in the first during December, the first couple of months of the project, it would rain. The water would hit the waddles and spread out 60, 80 feet wide and completely water all of our wetland plants that we just planted and then soak back in overnight. And we'd go back to work after it dried out a little bit and keep planting. It began to rain as if we were in the tropics. First atmospheric, big atmospheric river came 80% of the waddles opened up in one night. It's like, oh boy. It was pouring, big drops, lots of them. And we just saw that, that water rise. It's almost like a flash flood in this little valley. Waters rise pretty quickly and they go from being just a, a saturated stage zero wide valley with a, you know, maybe an inch of water on it to actually having white water in places. So there's a lot of power coming through here. What happens when you have, you know, tens of thousands of brand new plants in the ground? Think of your garden and then taking a fire hose to it before anything has, has set root. It's gonna cause some, some issues, and it did. We had some areas where we saw some plants get uprooted and washed down. We, we gathered those, we replanted those. So we came out in between rainstorms, patched up the waddles a little bit. <laughs> Somewhere between the second and third atmospheric river of the year of large storm, we realized the waddles were no longer serving uh, our purpose and we had the crews come out here and remove the waddles. By then we already had a lot of robust juncus plugs and stuff were actually taking hold. We couldn't pull them out of the ground anymore. Just in a couple of months they've set root, but the waddles were really starting to concentrate water into um, the incised channel or two. And so we removed those and pulled them off to the side, just to compost, so it's all biodegradable. Okay, well this, um, this right here is we had a straw wattle. This is one of the straw wattle sites that at some point it, it opened up during one of the atmospheric rivers. We repaired it, but then we removed it. And what you see on each one of these wattles, we ended up with these little scour pools, which actually make a nice little piece of habitat while they had water in them. In the coming months, we'll be monitoring. We've already begun monitoring. So we've got people looking at the groundwater levels. We've got, we have groundwater monitoring wells that are continuously monitoring. Remember, that's a big part of this project is trying to bring those groundwater levels up in the summertime. And then really looking at how are the plants doing, right? We put a heck of a lot of plants in here, both you know grasses, forbs, rushes, but also some trees and some shrubs. And so really looking at how those are taking and how those are performing now and through the drought season. Resilience doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to develop. It takes those plants getting rooted. And so the types of flows we saw these, this year, that's exactly the type of storm, the type of flow that we want to be able to anticipate. It is what we anticipate. It's what we know is coming under a changing climate and we want this site to be ready for it. And I'm actually really happy that we got it in year one. That was our test. What are we learning from it? We're learning a lot.